Well, this is um, uh, an exhibition which spans over various years of, um, of my work from uh, roughly around 94 to 2014 to date. There's a new commission um, video project, um, but goes back to um, painting and object work that I was doing in the, in the 90s and then there's a series of um, vitrine works and, um, and also some older video works. Well, I made Spiral City in um, 2002 and I've been uh, making a lot of work on the ground in Mexico City, lots of uh, work around the color orange and around the, um, that, this sort of synthetic um, archaeologies or future archaeologies in <laughs> around the street. I just felt that I wanted to sort of broaden that view and see the, the, the city from above and understand that um, the sort of relationship between the microcosmic world or macrocosmic world and the microcosmic world. So um, I rented this uh, helicopter and uh, circled around the city um, thinking about that sort of crystalline world of the street that I've been thinking and you know on the on the ground how could that be translated to to the air and was very much thinking of the grid um, and how that grid in, of Mexico City was constantly sort of spiraling on itself thinking a lot of the work of Robert Smith's and spiral jetty um, and how in a sense what I was doing the spiral city was drawing a spiral line around the city but what interested me about Fordlandia um, was the way in which the natural world meets with the industrial world. Um, so I was thinking really about that the, the, what's left there in Fordlandia now is just a kind of ruin of the old machines and um, uh, the, the old warehouse. So my film in a way documents the failure of the project itself um, and the way in which um, these industrial processes mix in or are tied in with the natural processes which is the the tapping of the rubber trees themselves and then the animal world on the other hand so I think that what interested me was that that was that this very dystopian project how in a sense nature could form some kind of resistance to that um, uh, a sort of modernist project or failed modernist project. Yeah. Well Edward James I was, I was aware of his um, sort of sculptural follies that he'd been making in, in, the, in the jungle in the, from the 19, 1960s to the, to the to 1980s really over 20 years and I'd always sort of been aware of that that his work um, and I was also interested obviously that he was he was English uh, that he was connected to the surrealists and Dadaists I was very interested in in this sort of extra urban space that he'd built and how that extra urban space could perhaps relate to my previous works in Spiral City really In the vitrines, there are um, some maquettes which I've made. There's plastic animals, there's maps, a couple of maps. There's uh, resin uh, moulds which, uh, which, I've, which I've cast. Collections of old postcards, which might be from, some of them are from Fordlandia, some of them are from the sort of old folly-like buildings. And some of them are um, a couple of them are, are, are architectural images, more modernist images, which might relate to <clears throat> a little bit more closely to Milton Keynes. So, in a sense, I'm making this sort of triangle through um, industrialization, through materials, through th and animals, and at the same time through this sort of pink, fleshy like substances. Um, and, and then there's these more sort of architectural structures as well. <laughs>